Hey everyone, welcome back to another recipe episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy with yours truly, of course. Um, today I'm making a very simple but delicious pasta dish. We're using a bow tie pasta and an Italian sausage, a hot Italian sausage. This is so yummy and so delicious and so creamy. Um, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just absolutely delicious. I know you're looking for some quick meals to make, um, you know, in the evenings um, for dinner for your family. Kids are back to school. This is going to be a winner of a dinner. Now, feel free to use the mild sausage if you prefer, but I like the hot because I like it hot and spicy. All right, as you can see here, I've got some um, Italian sausage. This is the hot. Like I said, you could use... Um, the mild if you'd like if you want to change up the flavor a little bit you could use the sweet but I prefer the hot with this recipe I don't know why I just like spicy food um, I'm also going to use just a little bit of diced tomato this is about a, a medium diced um, tomato we're gonna use a little bit of garlic that looks like a lot but just ignore it because I'm doing several recipes today so I just went ahead and cut you know quite a bit of garlic here we're also going to use a just a small um, chopped onion a little bit of basil some heavy whipping cream, some bow tie pasta that I've already cooked to al dente, and I just put a little bit of butter in there um, just to keep it from sticking, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. I had to look around. I got so many things laying out here, but let's go ahead and get started with this. Like I said, I've already cooked my bow tie pasta al dente. You want to make sure that it is al dente because it's going to um, finish up the cooking process in here which is just gonna be just maybe a minute or two. I just want it to be able to soak up all those beautiful flavors. We're gonna turn our, um, our stove top here on about medium, slightly over medium to get things started. So you're going to go ahead and add your Italian sausage right down to the skillet there. And what I want you to do is, first of all, I want you to get down in that pan a little bit. Let's get you down in there because this is such a beautiful dish. You're, you're really gonna like it, your family's gonna like it. It's nice and it's creamy and it is absolutely phenomenal. But once this starts um, frying up, we're just gonna kind of break that Italian sausage right up. This is the Johnsonville um, Italian sausage, which is my favorite um, to use. I went ahead and removed the casing. You know when you buy these type of sausages, they have that little casing on there. Um, it's like a little thin film. Uh, you want to go ahead and remove that. And that way you will be able to, uh, you know, just kind of chop this up nicely. Or break it up. You're not really chopping it, you're breaking it. Go ahead and add a nice little pinch of garlic. Not a whole lot. Maybe the equivalency of a, you know, one clove. Add your onion. And just kind of stir fry that all together. Oh, it smells amazing already. All right, this is absolutely perfect. I can't even tell you how amazing my house smells already. The garlic, the onions, and the Italian sausage. Oh, this is just absolutely phenomenal to smell in my house. And I stirred this up quite often, you know, making sure that the garlic doesn't burn. Go ahead and add your tomatoes in there. Give it a nice stir. The tomatoes are going to add a beautiful color to um, this as well. I'm just going to kind of heat those through. Very simple, very easy. Nothing going on hard here. At this point, you're going to go ahead and add your heavy whipping cream. And you're going to use the whole container of it. And this is just a, um, a little half pint of the, sorry about that, half pint of the heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to stir that. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of prep pepper. That's a lot, isn't it? And we're going to add just a little bit of salt, not a whole lot. Now remember, you've already got your fresh garlic in there and um, your onion. You know me, 
I love, I love the flavor of garlic, so we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder if I can find it. And that's just going to go right in there as well. Just a little bit, maybe half of a teaspoon. And we're getting there. The smell comes together so quickly. And go ahead and toss your pasta in. Now, if you don't have the bow tie pasta, that's perfectly okay. You go ahead and use whatever you have on hand. You can use the penne. Um, if you even wanted to use them spaghetti noodles, that would be perfectly fine. I'm just going to toss that nicely. And we're going to let this cook for about another minute or two just to ensure that our sausage is nice and cooked all the way through. I want you to look how beautiful that is. All right, we're going to add just a little bit of parsley for color. And then just before serving, We're going to add, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful, a couple heaping um, teaspoons, tablespoons, what have you, of Parmesan cheese. Give that a stir. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off, and at this point, I am just going to roughly tear up some basil right on top. Mm. You know basil and Italian sausage, Parmesan cheese, oh my goodness, it goes beautifully together. Look how gorgeous that is. Can you see it? That around. Oh, the aroma. Oh my goodness. Now, nothing to do but get you a nice big bowl of it. Look at this. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. Alright guys, my mouth is watering already. Look how beautiful that is. And I can't wait to dig in. This is so delicious. Hey, and if you're not a fan of Italian sausage, which I don't know who's not, um, but you know, if you wanted to use some ground chuck instead, some turkey meat. Mmm. Mm. That is so delicious. It's so creamy. Heavy whipping cream is amazing in a recipes like this. And that basil, you can taste that basil like immediately at the time that this, um, even the noodles just hit your mouth. You can just taste that basil and it just pairs perfectly with the garlic and the um, Italian sausage and the cheese. And mm, Shall I go on? This is perfect. I can have one more bite. Mmm. Two thumbs up. That is amazing. Mmm. Make sure you try this recipe extremely soon. We're going into the weekend. Luckily, I made extra so we can have leftovers for the weekend. I certainly hope you enjoy this recipe. And remember, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I don't know what you're waiting on. I have uh, like an abundance of delicious recipes that are just waiting for you to discover. Um, make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you're notified of any recipes 
any videos I'm putting out there because I want you to see them. I don't want you to miss not one of them. You know I love you guys very much. I appreciate you. Um, I just love you so much, and I'll see you on the next recipe.